Hello everybody, it's me Sonia. Welcome to my channel Sense for Joy. Today I have 10 gorgeous green perfumes to share with you guys. Starting off with this. This one is marketed for men, but I think it's totally unisex. I got this one recently, but this one is a very old one. And this is by Lolita Limpica and it's called uh, Green Lover has a nice bottle this is this uh, 100 ml very affordable this is very like aromatic fresh a bit spicy to me this one smells a little bit like a gin and tonic you know i don't drink alcohol whatsoever but when i smell my friend's gin and tonic this one smells a little bit like gin and tonic actually it has the gin tonic not not gin tonic let me see yeah, it has the gene note in the middle. The notes in this one are top notes, green mandarin and pepper. Then in the mid, you have gin, mint, which I love, and juniper berries that we also put in the gin and tonic, right? And in the base, Madagascar vanilla and musk. This is a very, very pleasant, guys. Very fresh and spicy and aromatic. Super refreshing for summertime. I believe this, these uh, perfumes that I have today are all very suitable for spring and summer. Maybe more for summer and some for summer hot days, you know, because these are very refreshing. Super nice, super pleasable, uh, pleasant. <laughs> uh, it was very, very inexpensive. Uh, check this one out. It's a, a goodie, an oldie but a goodie. Check this one out, Green Lover by Lolita Olympica. It's a classic. Next up, it's another very nice green fragrance with a very cute bottle. It has a jungle, jungle print in the back, you know, the leaves. And this one is by Berdu, and it's called, actually this name, it's in Portuguese, Selva do Brasil, means Brazil jungle. This one is another very aromatic and green and fresh. Again, once, once again, today these are all very fresh and aromatic. Mm, this is more, a bit more bitter than the previous one. Yes, it's green and bitter, you know, a bit grassy. You can almost pick the, like when you squeeze the, the leaves, the tree leaves. You know, the bitterness of that, mm, it's amazing. Super unisex also. So, Selva do Brasil, you have Petit Crin, Petit Crin from Paraguay in the top. Then in the mid, you have Tonka Bean and in the base, Gaia Wood. And that's it. Super simple, super green, a bit grassy, very fresh. Mm, super aromatic and very pleasant to my nose. Perfect for very ho uh, hot weather. I think so. Check this one out. Uh, Selva do Brasil by Berdu. Next up, it's another very good one. I like them all, you already know. I only show, share the ones that I really love. And this one is by Loewe and it's called Paulus uh, Paulus Ibiza yeah this is the first one that came out I believe I don't know three two years ago I'm not sure because they all, uh, already have a flanker but I don't have that one with a orange lid this one it's very it's a bit tropical but it's not the normal tropical you know that you're but it has coconut it's green Mmm, it's so, so unique. This one, it's not niche, but it could definitely be niche because this fragrance is super unique to my nose, you know? Like, one of a kind. Again, it's a, I think it's super unisex. Paula's Ibiza, and this is an eau de toilette, and actually, it has a beast mode performance for an eau de toilette. This is amazing, guys. It's la it lasts for a long time on skin and on the clothes. 
So this is a floral aquatic, so they say. In the top you have galbanum, which has, you know, that but, but, uh, bitter. Galbanum, it's, it's like a bit bitter, you know. Mm, I love the galbanum here. So galbanum, coconut and mandarin orange in the top notes. So, and then in the mid you have driftwood, frangipani and narcissus. Then in the base, ambergris, which gives it a little bit of saltiness, like almost marine effect, you know. But ambergris, sometimes it's a bit, a bit salty. Patchouli and bourbon vanilla. I don't pick much of the vanilla. Maybe in the dry down, yes, I do pick a little bit of the vanilla. But this one is so good. And the coconut and the frangipani gives it a little twist, tropical twist. But it's not like sunscreen and the normally, you know, coconut tropical fragrance because it's green. It's amazing. I mean, I think this one smells like a jungle, which is like by by the, the beach, you know, like you can pick like something beachy and then green and jungle at the same time. Very nice. Very nice and good, very good quality. I believe this one could be a niche scent, but it's not, but it's actually very affordable. Uh, this is the, I believe, 100 ml or 50 ml. I'm not sure. I cannot see, but I believe, I'm not sure guys, sorry. I cannot see the letter, the, it's very tiny. Uh, yeah, it's 50 ml, <laughs> okay. I really recommend this one if you want something different, something very unique and not mass. It's not very mass appealing. I don't recommend you blind buying this one because it's a very particular, not weird. For me, it's very nice, but uh, very intriguing, very one of a kind, amazing fragrance. Perfect for spring and summer. So that was Paula's Ibiza, uh, Ibiza by Uruwebe. Another one that I like a lot, and it reminds me the Alps, you know, the snow, the, the, how do you say, the, the green Christmas trees. How do you say the Christmas trees? That kind of tree, you know, like cypress, you know, that kind of, mm, it has some citruses in the open. This one, it's very aromatic, but it's fresh citrusy with an aromatic, fra uh, greenness you know from the pine it's not pine let me check so in the top you have tangerine sweet orange and juniper i pick the juniper berries here super aromatic then in the mid you have ginger which i love i pick the ginger pink pepper and mate oh yeah i was picking the tea you know the mate tea i love my tea fragrance that's why i love this one so much it's not like a in your face tea fragrance but you have like the citruses in the opening then the tea and the aromatics of the juniper you know it's very very green and fresh and citrusy so in the basil yeah you have the cedar i was talking about the the other christmas tree but yeah it's cedar and you have also hedion which is a molecular um how do you say note and also ambroxan. So these two molecular, molecular notes keeps the fragrance uh, long lasting. It's amazing, it's very fresh. It reminds me of the fresh air in the Alps, you know? Super fresh when you breathe and you have the, 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 the green uh, trees around you, you know? And the bright, the bright, uh, Citruses in the open are very, very energetic and very uplifting, you know, amazing fragrance. Oh, and I didn't tell you the name. Sorry, guys. This is called Orpiste by Bastille. Can you see? Orpiste. So that's why this one remi reminds me of the Alps, because I used to ski in the Alps. And we normally say or piste when we're out of the piste. La piste, you know? How do you say la piste? <laughs> Where you ski and then there's or piste. It's away from the ski. I don't know the name. 
la piste hors piste <laughs> you know what i mean out of the tracking uh, out of the route you know for the skier for the i think you know what i'm talking about so hors piste very very nice uplifting energetic and bright very nice green uh fresh scent that i uh, i think you should uh, check it out it's not very expensive this is a niche brand but uh, they have the small sizes and they have this is the 50 ml i believe and i believe they have a small teeny tiny travel size also it's not very expensive and it's a very good quality for the price so hors piste by bastille very nice fresh and citrusy uh, citrusy green fragrance next up is another one that i adore it's very well known in the community and this one is by uh Etat Libre d'Orange and it's called um, You or Someone Like You. It's a very nice name, I believe. And this one, it's a mean tea, fresh mean tea. I love it. It's so refreshing. This is amazing when it's super, super hot, hot outside, super fresh. If you like your mint, fragrance this one it's a very very good one mm, like you can feel the like mint squeezed you know squeezed leaves amazing super aromatic super fresh i picked something like maybe citruses let me check oh yes in the top you have grapefruit mint bergamot and anise he, uh, I definitely pick the, you know, the ionis aspect here. Oh, so aromatic, so nice. This one is very uplifting and very a bit relaxing also, you know. It, it's energizing, but at the same time, it's relaxing. I don't know, maybe I'm like, contra, contra, how do you say, contra dizer, contra dizer. I don't know how to say. <laughs> opposite uh, words energetic and relaxing i don't know guys call me crazy but it is very both to my nose it's both relaxing and energizing so guys in the mid you have green notes cassis rose and hideon and in the mate uh, uh sorry in the base white mask it's lovely i'm gonna layer a little bit of this one i'm not wearing this one today but mm, i'm enjoying the ah, i'm enjoying you know the good feel that i have when i sniff this one very good one uh this is a niche brand i got it at uh i don't remember where but with a good discount they have it everywhere with a great discount you don't have to pay full price for this one so this is uh, you or someone like you by Etat Libre d'Orange. Very good one. Super unisex also, guys. Super duper. Another great one that I'm, I'm in my second bottle. And it's super green, of course. <laughs> this one is a very oldie in my collection. I mean, not this bottle. This is quite new in my collection, but it's my second bottle, as I said. And this is called Philosicus by Diptyque. Uh, this is a fig, a fig fragrance. I'm showing you the list illustration behind the bottle. This is a eau de toilette. It's very nice, the eau de toilette. I prefer this one actually. For summer, I prefer this version to the eau de parfum. This is a fig fragrance, but it's, it's a super green fig, okay? It's not like the ripe fig, like the nectar, uh, the, uh, the nectar you know the inside of the fruit this one is super green it's you pick the greenness of the leaves you pick the bitterness a bit of the bitterness of the you know the the tree the how do you say the bark the bark tree the the bottom of the tree i don't know the name fig tree it says the the notes in this one are pretty simple it's just in the top note fig the fruit but i believe this is not very sweet at all let me check 
it's just too very green to me i have another some other uh, fig fragrances that are super sweet like you know like the pulp of the fruit super ripe this one it's not that it's super green this is a fig which is a super green fig the notes are just fig in the opening a fig leaf in the middle and then in the base fig tree and that's it you need to like your green fragrances to like this one it's a bit bitter too you know the bitterness of the fig leaves this is a classic to me if you enjoy fig check this one out but you you need to like your green leaves leafy fragrance to enjoy this one it's very fresh perfect for for summer mm, super green super green slash bitter and aromatic very nice classic uh, this is a classic from diptyque and i have i want to show you the lotion that i got in london just because you know <laughs> it's very nice it absorbs very quickly and the smell is just like the same just like the same as the perfume very nice lotion mm, super nice diptyque by the by no philosicus by diptyque so next up now I, oh, I'm a bit greasy <laughs> I don't want to turn my bottles into something a little messy but okay i think i'm good next up another very very fresh and aromatic and this is by commodity and it's called moss minus so this is the less intense version there they have uh three uh intensities from moss from each fragrance from the brand and this is the less intense I believe they call it uh, personal space I think moss personal and this is very uh, aromatic um, uh, bergamot you know a bit uh, mossy you know like wet soil you know a bit wet soil green wet soil in the forest mm, but also a little bit of fresh like almost like when you smell the, the Earl Grey tea it's not a tea scent but you know the, the Earl Grey tea has the bergamot in it so it reminds me that it's the bergamot but no tea so in the moss uh, moss uh, minus you have bergamot in the opening petit grain and oak moss in the middle amber and musk in the base it's super refreshing guys I've tried uh, all the, the three from the, the line and I think the expressive in the middle and the bold version are a bit too masculine, masculine to my taste. They pull a little like a bit more masculine. So I got this one for me, I think it's perfect. It's less masculine maybe than that the other two. So I picked this one up. It's very refreshing, very bright, very uplifting uh, it's good for out of the shower you know it's good for the gym it's good you know that kind of scent clean and fresh and aromatic a bit mossy but not very earthy and not like patchouli in none of that it's just very fresh like in the forest when it's just rained and you pick like the the green leaves like wet green leaves you know that smell it's moss check it out this one it's very very pleasant to my nose guys moss by commodity i i adore commodity i have like six or seven full bottles i believe maybe not seven one two three four five six six seven six bottles from commodity i love this brand so much another one in in the same style uh, that i got also recently of course yeah it's re very recent in my collection and this is called life no still life in rio rio it's a rio rio de janeiro okay guys 
this one it's again a very fresh aromatic a bit like you know like the smell of caipirinha in my mind i pick caipirinha but it's not caipirinha but it's a bit it has a rum note i believe caipirinha it's cachaça it's not rum but uh it's a bit boozy um it reminds me actually simone andrioli uh malibu that is it malibu or yeah i think it's malibu the one that has lots of mint no lots of lime and something boozy i think it's rum it reminds me that that one but the other one it's super super duper sweet it has lots of sugar you know like a real caipirinha the other one or mojito you know something like that this one it doesn't have the sugar it's green it's uh, not bitter this one is not bitter i pick the yuzu in the in the opening you know yuzu it's a citrus is from japan a small like a small lemon from japan so it has uh yuzu lemon mint which i love ginger and mandarin orange so very bright and citrusy citrusy fresh opening then in the mid you have coconut milk so nice pepper black and pink pepper so three types of pepper it's spicy but it's not very spicy i mean i mean my nose doesn't tingle you know sometimes it does but this in this one it doesn't in the base you have the boozy enough uh boozy note of rum also like the other one that i was talking about malibu by simone andrioli also has the rum yeah but the other one it's super super sweet and this one is not and uh, it has cup copaiga balm which which is uh resin i believe and leather i do not pick much of the leather i believe it's kind of interesting this note of the leather in this kind of tropical fresh fragrance you know like but i'm not sure if i pick the leather maybe let me let me see maybe in the dry down mm not sure about the leather i pick the coconut i pick the ginger and the the citrus is so so bright and invigorating it's super nice oh i like it a lot this is by i didn't tell you the name of the brand this is called actually i met the owner of the brand a lovely lady lovely french lady i met her last month at exons very very uh nice lady we chat a little bit and this is brand is called uh olfactive studio and this is uh the 100 ml bottle i believe i got this one at uh beauty now with a great discount you can get it also i don't know if there this is still available there but you can you can definitely check they have another fragrances from this brand at Beauty Now. It's a very nice one. Perfect for summer, a bit tropical, but not, not too much. It's more like fresh, aromatic, minty, gingery, you know, spicy, fresh scent. Super nice. Life? No, still life in Rio. I believe they have a fragrance that is called Still Life. You know, just I didn't smell that one. But this one, it's maybe a flanker of the, the, the other one. I didn't smell that one because I, I, I enjoyed this name better. So I chose this one. It was a blind buy, actually. <laughs> Don't recommend you guys to blind buy. Still life in Rio. Rio de Janeiro. I'm going to wear it a lot in the summer, in the hot weather. Next up is another beautiful one. Again, these are all very, very unisex, guys. And this is by Healy, and this is called Monte Fraiche, which means fresh mint in French. I enjoy the bottle, it's very heavy. Uh, the cap, it looks like wood, but I think it's not wood. You know, it has a texture, can you see? The texture of the wood, but actually I think it's metal. It's magnetic. I think it's metal. 
not not magnetic actually no not magnetic sorry guys and this is if you love mint this is a perfect mint fragrance a bit similar to the what the other one i mentioned uh, with mint this one it's also a mint fragrance but this one it's more straight mint to my nose mont fraiche by healy it's a citrus aromatic launched in 26 so it's not that new of a fragrance uh, in the top nose you have mint and bergamot and then green tea once again the tea note it's very nice i love the tea note yeah definitely pick the tea note actually it's reminding me the nishane uh, wulong chai you know not chai wulong sha that has also green tea and some citruses now but this one is more straightforward mint to my nose um let me see yeah this is super super minty but very refreshing and uh, also very uplifting very you know the citruses are present here the bergamot oh and it also has the the flower the freesia in the mid and then in the base you have the a woody base of virginia cedar very nice guys if you enjoy mint check this one out um it's very refreshing very very nice uh perfect for the for the gym also but perfection for hot weather check this one guys very good one green fresh mint fragrance one more to go because i only have 10 today and this is a tiny bottle i got only the travel size because i find the smell very very intriguing but it was very expensive the the 50 ml was super expensive and <laughs> this is by uh frederic mal and this is called synthetic jungle and i believe they changed the name now and the same fragrance i believe now it's called synthetic nature so guys this one it's again a super green fragrance i think it has galbanum again like uh, which one has galbanum let me see i think it was this one if i'm not mistaken the bitter one which was the one with uh with galbanum this one also i believe yeah very bitter also so i believe oh this is a very green and bitter like a jungle really like it smells like a jungle you know i believe let me see oh yeah in the top you have straight galbanum basil which is also very green and very aromatic and black currant i pick a little bit of the the sourness and sweetness of the black currant in the opening but i think the galbanum it's a bit like over you know over how do you say on top of the the rest you know overwhelming almost overwhelming but i love it a lot super bitter green fragrance then in the mid you have the floral aspects you have lily of the valley which i pick also yacinth how do you say yacinth jacinto in portuguese now i'm teaching you portuguese yacinth ylang ylang and almond i also pick a little bit of the creaminess and the bitterness but i think the bitterness is from it's from the galbanum it's so nice and then in the base you have oak moss and patchouli so a little bit earthy you know like a wet soil once again like in the moss it has moss the moss note super green and wet almost and this one also very green and wet oops very interesting very like so a bit complex but very interesting fragrance so this is synthetic jungle that uh, now the name is uh, believe um, synthetic nature 
I don't know why they changed the name. It's stupid, I think, but I like this name better. I like the name Jungle. I close my eyes and I'm in Bali, in the jungle. I almost hear the, the, the monkeys and the, the frogs, you know, singing in the river down near the, the wild. It's amazing. This fragrance, it's, it was very expensive, guys. This tiny bottle, I think it was like 50 bucks, 50 euros for this tiny, I think it's 10, 10 ml, not even, no, it's 10 ml, I believe. But I wanted to get it because it's amazing. It's a very, very, very unique green scent. Very good one, guys. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and bye bye comment down below which are your favorite green fragrance please and bye bye see you next week see you next video thanks for watching beijinhos